Okay, we're going to put dimensions onto the wheelchair ramp that we've drawn. You can see that I've put a whole lot more detail in on the drawing, showing me where the straws that I've placed are going to be. You can see those on the top view. The reason why I'm able to see them in dark and not in hidden detail is that over here it says the top view with the ramp surface removed. Right, what I'm going to do is to start by giving the main dimensions. I'm going to draw what they call extension lines. They do not touch the lines that I'm measuring to. They have a millimeter gap between that point and the little extension line, and that point and the little extension line. So there's a little gap there. I then take my ruler and I draw a dimension line going across like that. And then I draw little arrows in over here. Not big Indian arrows, they are very thin little arrows. Thin, thin, thin little arrows. Nice and dark. I then move my line up, my ruler up one millimeter above that. I draw a construction line. Draw another construction line about four millimeters up. And then I'm going to measure. Now I know that this measurement over here should be 150 millimeters. I can then write in the center of that dimension line 150 millimeters. Okay, you'll note I do not write millimeters over here. All drawings are always measured in millimeters. Right, next thing is to give the width of this object. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw some extension lines. Also a millimeter away from where it's indicating. Over there and over there. Draw your dimension line. Nice dark but thin line. Draw your little arrowheads on. Nice and dark and thin. Draw your construction lines. I'm then going to measure off and we know that this is 50 because the specification said that it was 50. So I can write in 50 over here. You'll see that there is a gap between that dimension line and my writing. Okay, I'm going to write the height in over here. Extension lines coming out. Draw in your little arrows there. Draw in your arrows over there. Draw your construction line a millimeter away. Another construction line about four millimeters away. This height over here, I would like you to write in whatever you are measuring there. I'm not going to write it in. All right, so over here, you must write in whatever your dimension is. The reason why I didn't do that is that I want to see how accurately you've done this ramp. Okay, once you've done that, you can then put in all sorts of other information like the spacing of these struts over here. Um, obviously, your diagrams are going to be different from mine, um, so I can't put in exactly what your things are going to be, but the major dimensions that I've given you over here should be all the same. So we're going to put it in a dimension over here. There it is. Write that in. Now I can write in whatever that dimension is that between those two centers of those is about 50. So I can write in over here 50 millimeters there. All right. Um, note, the dimension is always written above the dimension line. You can see over here it's written above the dimension line. Or it is written on the left hand side of the dimension line. Or on the left hand side of the dimension line. Alright, doesn't matter where you are in the drawing. Always reading from top to bottom and from left to right. So dimensions always on the left hand side of the dimension line and always above the dimension line.
If you have to put a diameter onto something, you're going to draw a little line going across the center. You're going to draw a line coming out like that. Put arrows on the inside like that. And then you're going to draw a construction line above that little leader line they call it. And you're going to write in over here a symbol that looks like that and whatever that measurement is. I know that that is a diameter of six millimeters.